It's around 225 miles from the Twin Cities to the headwaters at Lake Itasca. About a four hour drive. Here we are. This is the place. And Nora and Ellie, I want you to meet a good friend of mine, uh, Connie Cox, a senior Hi. naturalist here at Itasca State Park. Hi, Connie. Hi, nice Hi you guys. How you doing? Good. How are you? Great. I'm glad you could be here. So where exactly does the water come from up here? 60% of the water that feeds both Lake Itasca behind you and the Mississippi River behind me is water that's seeping up through springs in the lake bed and the river bed. So only 40% is that heavy rainwater or snow melt that comes in off the surface of the land. And even in the middle of winter, when it is 60 below zero, the water continues to flow. So this truly is the beginning of the Mississippi. So John, we've seen how beautiful it is here in Itasca, but how much does the environment change the further downriver we get? That's a good question. Yeah, you know, when I think about the river, when you look at it the way it is right here, I mean, this is, it's just born here. This is the beginning. It reaches the Gulf of Mexico, the end of its life, and it goes through huge changes. So right now, we're sur surrounded primarily by uh, pine trees, beautiful pine trees. This is the coniferous forest biome, and that's where the river starts. As it goes further downstream, uh, it actually goes through an area of prairie. That's another biome. And then uh, downstream of the Twin Cities, Minneapolis, St. Paul, the river widens, and you get this wide floodplain with all these backwaters. Eventually, it, after many miles uh, flowing through the central part of the country, it reaches the delta, and the delta has its own special uh, environmental areas, different biomes. One is a forest, the cypress forest, another evergreen forest of huge ancient trees up to a thousand years old. And then you get into coastal marshes and estuaries, and ultimately you get to barrier islands. So the river just, it travels a huge difference, and in that journey, it goes through tremendous changes. It's so amazing to actually stand here at the spot where the Mississippi starts its 2,300 mile journey. And realize that as the river flows through the center of the country, it gets deeper and faster and wider, and very important to the nation and the people who live along the river. Like in the Twin Cities, where we'll catch up with you again soon.